So, are you someone that when you step on a smart scale, the only thing that goes up is your electricity bill? Are you someone that the only thing you can put on are your little sister's clothes and not weigh? Are you someone that is struggling to gain weight? You cannot seem to grow no matter how much you weigh. I can totally relate to how you are feeling right now. You see, even for bodybuilders, uh, even though we look chat, there comes a point after which we just simply stop growing. Even for us, putting on weight and bulking is not an easy task. So, if you are a beginner who is looking forward to get to a healthy body weight, or if you have been training for some time and you are stuck at a body weight that you want to surpass, this video is for both of you. You see, when it comes to gaining weight, there's one particular advice that is floating around the internet. Eat more to increase your weight. Eat it. Well, I'm not a bit hungry, am I, Ollie? No, and I'm on a diet. You heard what I said. Eat. That is a very oversimplified statement. Yes, it is true that you will gain weight if you eat more, but it is as simple as saying that if you want to be successful, just work hard without giving you any direction on what exactly you have to do. In this video, that is exactly what I am going to do. It is true that a caloric surplus is needed for gaining weight, but there are many ways you can achieve a calorie surplus. In this video, I will give you some hacks that will force your body to grow no matter where you are right now. So watch this video till the very end. Tip number one is keep those nuts handy. I mean nuts like peanuts walnuts, almond, cashews, anything you like to eat. Just keep them in your pocket and munch on them whenever you can. What have you got there? I brought you some hard-boiled eggs and some nuts. A single peanut contains around 10 calories, so if you eat like a 50 peanuts a day, you can do the maths on how much calories you are eating. The best part is that peanuts are very easy to eat, so you can munch on them anytime you want. This is something our pro-strongman competitors do to gain weight. Before I tell you the next tip, it is important that you learn how macros work. When you were in school, you must have been taught that food contains three things, carbs, protein, and fats. But what you do not know is that carbs contain 4 calories per gram, protein also contains 4 calories per gram, but fats, they contain 9 calories per gram. So if your goal was to lose weight, fats is something that you had to stay away from, but as your goal is to gain weight, you can use this to your advantage. Let's say you eat 100 grams of carbs or protein, you are just getting 400 calories from that. However, if you eat 100 grams of fat, you are getting around 800 to 900 calories easily from that, which is almost double, which is more than double actually. And the best part is that it is taking the same space in your stomach. So if you had a choice to eat between like uh, 100 grams of carbs or 100 grams of fat, you know which one to go for. Both have got the same amount of volume, but one has got almost double the calories. And this is exactly the reason why people say to avoid junk food, it contains a lot of fats. If your goal was to maintain your weight or lose weight, eating a lot of junk food is not going to be good for you. But now that your goal is to gain weight, you can actually use that to your advantage. Now I'm not saying that you have to just rely on junk food. If your entire day is filled with McDonald's, then there's a problem to that. However, you can try some other fat-rich foods like nuts, oils, butter, avocados, cheese, milk, anything that you like. If you are interested in knowing how to create a healthy and sustainable diet plan, then do check out my ebook Reincarnation. It has a lot of valuable advice that will help you out. The link is in the description. Tip number 3 is to reduce your protein intake to 0.6 to 0.7 grams per pound of body weight. This might seem very contradicting to the advice that YouTubers are giving you, that you need to eat a lot of protein to build muscle. Yes, it is true that you need protein to build muscle, but you do not need a lot of protein to build muscle. The thing about protein is that it is very satiating. That means if you eat a lot of protein, you will not feel hungry, you will feel full and satisfied. And this is something that if you are trying to gain weight, you do not want this to happen to you. Keep your protein around 0 0.6 to 0 0.7 grams and you will be fine. You will build muscle as you are trying to gain weight, you do not need a lot of protein. If you are cutting, then things would have been a little different. Another thing that is highly satiating is fiber, vegetables, fruits. They are very satiating. If you eat a lot of them, you will not feel hungry. But this does not mean that you have to completely avoid them. That would be very unhealthy. However, there is one thing you can do. When you are eating your meal, 
try to get in the fats and protein before you eat those carbs those fiber those vegetables when you do this you are ensuring that you are getting the calories in first and then you can consume the fiber vegetables and fruits also contain a lot of water which also makes them very satiating this brings me to my next tip which is do not drink water right before your meal especially for the 30 minutes before your meal you see when you drink a lot of water it fills up your stomach and you do not feel hungry Salads also contain a lot of water that makes you feel full without eating a lot of calories. Tip number 5 is to watch something while you are eating. You must have heard the dietitian say, be mindful of what you are eating. Do not watch the TV or use the social media while you eat. This is true if your goal was to lose weight. When you are watching something, uh, you are distracted from what you are eating and you end up eating a lot more than you have to. But now that your goal is to gain weight, this is something you can use to your advantage. Watch some action movie while you're eating. It will actually make you eat more. And if you don't like movies, watch some of my videos. They are totally free and you will end up learning a lot of things while you are eating. So subscribe and turn on notifications. Tip number 6 is to add some oils, butter or clarified butter to your diet. Even a tablespoon of oil, let's say olive oil, contains almost 100 calories. If you just curb down 5 tablespoons of olive oil, you are getting around 500 calories. And how small is a tablespoon? It's just so small, you can just sip it like that. And you easily got 100 calories surplus right there. Yes, I know sipping oil can be a little weird, so just sprinkle it across your food. You can easily add 100 to 200 calories to your food without actually increasing it in its volume. If you've got peanut butter, just smack it across your bread. There's easily 100 to 200 calories right there. Now keep in mind that you need around 3500 calories to gain a pound of body weight. So if you are eating in a 500 calorie surplus daily, you will be gaining a pound of body weight per week. If you are very skinny, you can eat in a 500 calorie surplus. But if you are someone like very anorexic, extremely skinny, you can try increasing that even further. Maybe try gaining 2 pounds per week. This is very extreme but in your case it might be needed. Tip number 7 is to follow some resistance training program. When you are trying to build muscle, those extra calories that you are eating, they end up being used to build muscle instead of fat. If you just try to gulp down as much food as you can, you will end up looking very skinny fat. But if you are following a resistance training program, you will build muscle and you will look amazing. And that's why I've written my book Reincarnation. It contains dozens of exercises that you can do at your home or with just your body weight. To build muscle. It contains a lot of knowledge about programming, advanced techniques, specialization, periodization, all of the things that you will require on your fitness journey. Hit the link in the description and buy your copy now. That's it for this video. Like, share, subscribe and turn on notifications to all so that you never miss one of my videos.